I yep. think it's really important in a project like this to make sure we can plant more trees. Absolutely. We can never have enough, mm -hmm. and it really helps improve the air quality. So, in it, if there's any way to take advantage of that in this situation, and we think, you know, I'd love to know the number that did get destroyed or cleared, and then make sure we, we replace that. Yep, we, we had the arborist out here first, and we walked it with them. So, well, that's what I mean. They were on board, the Shane Commission's on board. Yeah, went through the proper channels. The whole they're Kristen. saving a whole lot of huge trees along here, trees that really matter. The trees that they're removing inside here are sucker trees or, or trees that are dying and a couple of ash trees which we need to get rid of anyway because of the ash borer coming. We're saving all the ones down around here. This maple and, and pine in the back, they've really done a beautiful job. And then they're adding a whole bunch more in. So how many is it? It's seven dogwoods or eight? Yeah, I, 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 I really don't know the number home. off the top of my head right at the moment, but yeah, sorry, few rows, few, few cedars to mimic what's uh, what you're right. here. That's right. And thank you for making it ADA accessible. Yeah. 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 That's very That was important. one of our requests. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, off the site is, you know, it is what it is that the roads we, we really can't change, but these paths meet yeah. all ADA design requirements. What's going to be on the paths themselves? Is it stone? Stone dust. Stone dust. Stone dust, natural material. Um, just like you know, you can see uh, in um, Glitcherwood Park, and it's just a couple of concrete landings, small ones, you know, decorative, and even those are going to be mostly stone. We'll also, we have pieces of bluestone and limestone in here. Um, since we're talking, what is the stone wall there in the middle? What is that doing, or what is? The, oh, that's flattening it out. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. just going to be that's just going to be uh, stacked field stones to it's raise up. Out. Yeah, to raise up the planter area, and we needed that to make a great differential to make the pass ADA okay. compliant. So it's, it, all, it's all uh, natural stone throughout between those and the, and the folder walls also. Is it below 50%? Are you touching grade that is below 15% or is it the 15 to 25%? Because we have a steep slope ordinance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're yeah, we're, we're, we're not cutting below the standards. No, nah, we're right. We're, we're, we're basically right in right in the area that we're standing in now. In the clearing. We're, we're not... So is it serving a purpose for, for water retention? Right, right. I mean, we have a steep slope ordinance. It does, it does, ben it does benefit water retention also. Um, as part of our application to the Morris County Soil Conservation District, we have to prove, you know, that there's no increase in the uh, in the volume or, yeah. or peak flow rate of, of runoff. Calculated that for a 100-year storm. We equalize the runoff. Uh, we equalize the runoff volume, so there's no change in volume of runoff, and the peak flow rate off-site is actually reduced by the flattening of the grade. So we're we're enhancing the situation from a drainage perspective.